Introduction India is a very big country. Our country is the seventh largest country in the world. There are various kinds of traditions, culture, monuments and languages in India which are our heritage. There are old monuments, parks, places and valued things that we got from previous generations. Heritages are conserved and maintained for promotion of tourists in India. Traditions of a family, languages, culture, dresses and food habits passing from one generation to another are also called as a heritage. Buildings and monuments. Our famous Indian monuments and buildings which are natural heritage to us are Taj Mahal. It is a beautiful white marble monument built by Shah Jahan in the city of Agra on the banks of river Yamuna. Mysore Palace, Mysore. This is the historical palatial monument located in the city of Mysore, Karnataka. It has beautiful paintings on its ceiling. Har Mandir Sahib, Amritsar. The Golden Temple is also known as Har Mandir Sahib. It is a Sikh Gurudwara located in Amritsar, Punjab. Bahai Temple This is the Lotus Temple located in Delhi. Hava Mahal This is the great monument built by the Royal Rajputs. It is situated in the heart of Pink City, Jaipur, the capital of Rajasthan. Victoria Memorial This is located in Kolkata, West Bengal. It is a museum with great collection of paintings and sculptures of ancient and prehistoric times. Qutub Minar It is one of the tallest and famous tower. It was started by Qutubuddin Aibak and was completed by his successor Il Tutmish. Sanchi Stupa Sachi. This is one of the famous Buddhists monument of India located at Sachi town in Raisen district of Madhya Pradesh. Lal Mahal. This is a red brick building located in Pune. It is the birth palace of Shivaji. Gateway of India. This is the best known tourist place of Mumbai. It stands as a memorial built by british char minar this is situated in hyderabad it is the most popular mosque and a gateway monument ajanta elora caves these caves are situated in aurangabad maharashtra the cave is famous for its beautiful ancient paintings and sculptures konark sun temple It is marked as a world heritage located at Konark in Odisha. Fatehpur Sikri It is located in Fatehpur. This is famous for the ancient Mughal paintings. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus It is situated in Mumbai as one of the busiest railway station of India. Great leaders and their national achievements Indian history is full of great people. Many rulers in the past have played an important role in shaping the future of India. A great leader of India who played an important role in shaping our country's foundation was Ashoka, the greatest Mauryan king. He was an intelligent and powerful ruler. He fought battle of Kalinga. Thousands of people were killed in this battle. He became sad, gave up his kingdom and began to follow the teachings of Gautam Buddha. Mahatma Gandhi He is also known as father of the nation. He laid down the foundation to free India from the British rule. Bhagat Singh He was the most revolutionary leader of youths. He shaped the base of grand national revolutionary movement. Bal Gangadhar Tilak He was a social reformer and a freedom fighter. He is also known as father of Indian movement. Chandrasekhar Azad He fought against British with Bhagat Singh. 
he helped other revolutionaries to fight against british rule jawahar lal nehru he was the first prime minister of independent india he led the congress party of india for freedom movement against british empire netaji subhash chandra bose he devoted his life for the pride of our country he was the founder of indian national army also known as azad hind fauj dr rajendra prasad he was the great leader of indian nationalist movement and an architect of indian constitution molana abul kalam azad he was a renowned journalist he wrote against the policies of british government epics and folk tales we have heard about ancient stories from our grandparents these stories are sometimes related to the events occurred years ago in the history of india these are called as epics and folk tales an epic is a long poem made from an ancient oral tradition the ramayan and the mahabharat are the two most widely read epics of india a folk tale is the traditional story of ancient india panchatantra and the jatak tales are the form of folk tales the epics and the folk tales are important heritage of india national symbols in our country though we have different customs languages religions and traditions but we belong to one nation we are bound to each other by many ties our national symbols are the national flag the national anthem and the national emblem the national symbols are always with us and it is our duty to respect our national symbols they remind us our common nationality the national flag we have a tricolor national flag it has three horizontal bands deep top is saffron middle of flag has white and last band of flag is dark green There is a navy blue wheel in the center of the white band. It is known as Ashok Chakra. It has 24 spokes in it. The national flag is flown over all important government buildings and on the top of Indian embassies. National emblem. A national emblem has a picture of 3 lions. The other part of the emblem has a motto written below the lions as Satyamev Jayate which means truth alone triumphs the national anthem the national anthem is a sacred symbol of our free nation it is a patriotic song the great poet rabindranath tagore wrote our national anthem jan gan man is our national anthem national animal the majestic bengal tiger with its power is the national animal of india national flower lotus is the national flower of india national bird the indian peacock with its beautiful blue neck and a long magnificent tail is the national bird of india festivals community and celebrations a festival is an occasion for celebrating some important events connected with our social and cultural activities india is a land of many festivals we have festivals almost every month in india we observe the festivals to celebrate some events which took place in the past we celebrate various kinds of festivals which are religious seasonal and traditional in nature the religious festivals of india janmashtami diwali ram navmi durga puja Buddh Purnima Christmas Guru Parv Good Friday Eid Ganesh Chaturthi Shivratri Baisakhi and Holi are associated with harvest season of crops in North India Pongal is celebrated in Tamil Nadu at the time of harvest of crop Parsis celebrate Navroz as their new year day The national festivals are celebrated by every Indian throughout the country the three main national festivals are 
Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti. Festivals are time for happiness. There are fairs and events associated with many festivals. People get excited while watching the traditional sports like wrestling and other entertainment program during festivals. Festivals make us aware about the various traditions, culture and belief of the people of other religions and community. We should always be proud of the rich national traditions and culture which we have inherited from our ancestors.